Hey there, it's Colleen Riddle. How's everybody doing tonight? If you don't know me, welcome. I try to give tips every Tuesday, and today I want to talk to you about ways that you can kind of give yourself a little self massage. Uh, I've owned my personal training business in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida for the past 15 years. I'm really passionate about helping people live a healthy life through exercise and nutrition and getting the chemicals out of their home. So tonight's tip is going to be on a little bit of self-care. So how many of you have ever used a foam roller? So they come in different sizes and they all come in the same shape. They're all round, but some of them are longer. Um, this is the one that I love. I uh, found this, but I want to talk to you about a couple things. I'm going to show you two ways that you can use it. But before I show you how to do it, uh, some of the benefits of foam rolling is that it can increase your mobility. So sometimes when our muscles are super tight, we can't do things the right way. So maybe our, our, um, our hips are tight and that way we can't do the proper squat because they're too tight. Or if we can roll it out and get some of that circulation, it can increase your circulation, get some more mobility to your joints and ligaments. Um, so it's really good to do before a workout. So add that into part of your warm up. It's also really good to do after a workout, after a run that can decrease some of the soreness. Uh, so there's a ton of benefits. I actually, I pulled this out. Um, I did a continuing education uh, class on foam rolling. So much amazing information in here. If you want more information, I'm happy to, to help you learn a little bit more, but and I made some notes. Uh, so yeah, increases flexibility, decreases soreness, increases circulation, increases mobility. Um, and so one of the things uh, is if you have knee issues. So I know a lot of people over the years, um, they get knee issues if you run a lot, especially. They call it runner's knee. Well, if you can roll your IT band, so your IT band goes from up here from your hip all the way down and attaches to your tibia. So a lot of times you can feel some pain right here, but what happens is you're, you can't really stretch your IT band. What's going on is your quadricep muscle is, is grounded under there. Part of your muscle is under that IT band. So I'm going to show you how you can roll that out because what happens is when it starts getting too tight and that muscle gets too tight, it starts pulling your kneecap out and that can cause you to be out of alignment and cause that knee issue. So one of the things that I always do um, before and after I run is uh, rolling that IT band. And I'm going to tell you, it hurts in the beginning, okay? So just stick with it. Um, and mine is actually uh, a little irritated now. I haven't been as consistent of rolling. So you're going to start up at your hip, okay? And you're going to just slowly roll. Now, if something is speaking to you, like right there for me, it's like, hello, that hurts. You want to just hold it there. You can do like little movements back and forth, but you want to go all the way down to the knee, nice and slow, all the way back up. And do that a couple of times. There's so many different things. I could show you how to roll your glutes. So many different things, but I don't have time right now. But what I want to show you too, so we talked about knee pain. That can really help uh, keep your knees healthy. Also, how many of us, now more than ever, we're sitting like this? right at our computers all day on zooms for our meetings and so we get really ten a lot of tension in our upper back so this is great sometimes just in the middle of the day i take a break and you know you can just put this behind you and just roll you can cross your hands here go all the way up be really gentle around your neck just go to the top where your neck meets your back and just give yourself some love i also like to open up my arms like this Go all the way down. Sometimes you get like a little pop, pop, pop. And it just helps to release some of that tension. So you can just take a few minutes. Also, it's a great time to practice deep breathing while you're doing that and just give yourself a break from the computer. So those are just two ways that you can use this awesome little foam roller. You can get it anywhere. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at any of your, you know, Target, Walmart. Uh, but anyway, Use your foam roller, play around with it, and if you need help, reach out. I'm happy to show you some tools if you have like uh, a certain injury or uh, not that I can diagnose injuries, but if you have a certain thing that's tight, I'm happy to help. So that's Tuesday Tips with Colleen. Make sure you follow me and I will see you next time.